Hello, everybody. I hope you had a great weekend. Linda, good morning. Sky, hello. Um, hopefully you guys had a great weekend and your week is starting out well. There is not really much going on on Adobe Live uh, this week or until the new year, really. So I decided I'm going to fill in a little bit. General, hello there. Um, yeah, I've got some projects that I want to work on. And so I figured I would live stream today and tomorrow before taking off uh, for Christmas. So let me know if there is, um, <laughs> General says, but there's always something happening at Kozal Town. Yes, there is. <laughs> uh, Sandrine, hello. Sorry for the tilde. Stephen Booth, hello. Okay. Well, let's go ahead, get this started. I'm going to start some introductions. Uh, Lee says, I need some jolliness. Well, hopefully we can do something like that. Guaranteed here. I hope so. I do. I hope so. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Sean Kozel. I'm a photographer. I'm based in Germany. If you're watching this on Behance, you can click on my icon up that way. Um, and it'll take you to my Behance page where you can check out some of my past work as long also my past live streams. Um, if you are watching on YouTube or Twitch, I am at Linktree slash Kozel. And from there, you will be able to reach pretty much everywhere I am on the interwebs. So um, yeah, that's, that's where I can be reached. If you like what I do, feel free to subscribe to me on Behance. I like that. That would be wonderful. Also, I, I hear we've been having issues. Um, a lot of people have contacted me that that Adobe Creative Gang team page, wow, that's a mouthful, um, isn't working for you. So I apologize. There's a bug going on with Behance. Um, some people in my Discord has talked about uh, it working on the mobile. Um, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I really don't. I've passed the word along uh, to Behance. He is everywhere. I wouldn't say everywhere, Sandrine, but I, I get around. Until this page is fully operational, we are vulnerable. No, I mean, we've got, we still, we've got 35 team members. Look at those numbers. We're not vulnerable. Not, not in the least. Um, on my link tree, the TAC gang, is, it, it is called in some circles, the TAC gang, TAC, that Adobe Creative gang. Okay. Wasn't Stream Poster the first collaboration between Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton? Their second attempt was more successful. Steven, I have no idea where that came from, but that's funny. If a stream poster, if that was actually a title of a song, I apologize. Um, on my link tree, if you scroll down, you will see join my discord right there. If you're on my Behance, you can join the discord from right there. And talking about the Discord, for those of you that are on it, I'm just talking about a few links. Um, I have an Adobe Links page, which as, as of right now, Kozo Photography is an Adobe affiliate. And so I've got links to all of the creative plans that Adobe offers. Almost all of them. A lot of them. Not, not all of them, but a lot of them. Also, I've got a feed for your photos to edit. This, at the beginning of the year, I will be doing a stream on how I would edit your photos. Um, Mafu shared one just yesterday and said, I would like to know what Sean would do with this. 
So Mafu, thank you. I know you're not here just yet. Could be busy. Um, also, scrolling down, we've got your community artwork, which Vikram... Let me go ahead and put this into chat. Has made an After Effects glowing Taurus project. So Vikram said this was one of his first illust or excuse me After Effects projects. So very nice, very nice. Good job. Thank you for sharing that, Vikram. Give that an appreciation. Very cool. Um, also, if you have any other projects that you would like feedback with or you just want me to show it off on my stream, you can put it right there. Um, this morning, Sandrine, and I did not get this because I'm probably, because I'm not in the UK. But I know I've got a lot of people that uh, pay attention to this stream that are in the UK. So I've just put that link into chat. And it is the Adobe Small Business Goes Big. It's, uh, I guess, I don't want to say a collaboration, but Adobe has partnered with Enterprise Nation to give business small businesses big opportunities. This time, win a chance to pitch your business to buyers from Britain's best retailers and share 10,000 pounds cash. So this is quite cool. Um, they have all the information here. And I am very sorry. Well, okay, wait. Steven says, sorry, I'm old. Posters in the stream, that is what we make. Everyone in the chat how could it be wrong? Oh, Sandrine says it was in her newsletter. Okay. Well, I did not get this. So, um, unfortunately, I, if... When, when is it due? There was a deadline. Here we go. Enter before January 6th or January 8th. Um... It's for the UK, so maybe you're not in the UK. Maybe you didn't receive it. No, I did not receive it. I didn't. Or I would have shared this um, with with you, Oliver. Yo. So, uh, yeah, definitely check this out if you are in the UK. Um, be able to promote your business. So very cool. Very cool. Okay, so I think... That's all the announcements that I've got going. So last week in the snow, I was able to go out and get some photos. Um, today, tomorrow, we'll be taking a look at those. Um, but I think what I want to jump back into is the, um, the poster, the stream poster. We started kind of go. I'm not getting done. <laughs> I've got a lot to do and I'm not getting them done, but this has been a really fun project. So I did a little bit of work off stream. So let's take a look at it. Okay. So I believe that we ended up with look at my work. So I knocked out three posters. So what I did is off stream, I just wanted to get this going a little bit quicker <laughs> so we can actually get into the fun part. Um, so I've gone through and let's zoom in. So you can see what we've got going is I've titled them. I've got, the, got all the posters done. I've copied them over. I've got the title up, so you're muted. Um, and then I've added just a little bit of text. If um, if something came to me while I was working on this. So you're muted. A streamer who forgot to test their mic before starting a stream. Or as a verb, chat 
Matt's reaction to not being able to hear but see the streamer's mouth move. Um, I do not, so those are just two definitions that I came up with um, really quick. And I don't have any slang, so I don't know if we're going to be having a slang for it or not. But we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Um, I've got boom. An achievement, achievement and or streamer excitement. I like that. And as a verb, activating a blue flame explosion. Wait for it. Come on, wake up, hard drive. There we go. Boom. Okay, next off. We've got iced tea. Best use of black tea bags. Uh, and I've got the final result of a long stream taking place in the UK during winter or in cold weather. I thought that was pretty funny. Wrong layer. We've got an announcement made loudly when the correct layer is not being used. Uh, an enthusiast, no, that's all I got for that. Okay, we've got merch. Small items such as stickers or cards showing artwork or design elements. And uh, as a verb, creating an item of self-promotion to give or sell to others. And a slang of swag. And I wouldn't call merch being self-promoting, but I've got that there. We'll see. That's, that's kind of left over from the last one. Uh, name your layers. In a Zoom call, generally, you'll see people waving their hands in panic, mouthing you're muted. Some may even mimic a slit throat for some reason. Wow. I've never seen that before. Um, the waving the hands I've seen, but not, not the last one. Uh, name your layers. Ooh, I just noticed. There we go. Uh, the definition of iced tea should simply say wrong. Let me, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Get back here. I went the wrong way. What if it's from Long Island? Oh my goodness. We could put it under slang. I'm 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 just thinking how we could do that. Um I like it. I like the idea. Uh Uh, let's see. Andre, hello. Yeah, I, okay. We'll get back to it. We'll get back to it and figure something out. Um, do do do. Where did we end up? Name your layers. A workflow element to be followed when someone is watching or looking at your file. And as a verb, it's changing the title of a layer from layer one copy to what the layer contains. I thought that was kind of funny. Share your screen. Post it. Note title on streamer's desktop. Um, what is typed into chat when the streamer is focused on everything but the fact that they are streaming? Hmm. Oliver says it was a joke, not a serious suggestion. All of these are jokes. 
and serious suggestions, Oliver. I have no problem with that. <clears throat> okay, lens flare, a refraction of light through a camera lens, creating a burst of light in a design to make it pop, and then see boom. We're lurking, a person not active in chat while watching a stream, or the person who responds in chat, what, did I hear my name? <laughs> and then as a verb, trying to be productive at work while watching a live stream, and two, moving your mouse but really watching a live stream. And slang is lurk mode. A uh, slice, I don't have any definitions for that. Rough, no definitions. Nor you did not hear your name. Tangent, and After Effects counter, we've got Humming Blob, Gareth Hello, and Page Turn. So that's what we've got going on right now. So let's come on back down and we are going to start. You're muted. All right, so this is where we get to figure out if there's anything that, um, that we need to add that we want to add. Apparently, if you put your mouse on top of an analog watch, that also works. That's funny. Um, oh, oh, I do have something. Okay. <clears throat> this is interesting to me. So the last stream, where is it? Up here. Last stream, we we're talking about a lot of different ways to do things. Um, and it was suggested to me, let me actually get back here. It was Discord, Stream Chat, and right here, Katarina. Whoa, get back here. Katarina suggested that I watch a daily creative challenge by Jack Watson. Um, that was extremely helpful. It was the um, holiday recipe card and it was actually quite helpful. One of the other things that we talked about was using paragraph styles. Um, so after the stream, I started playing around with it. Um, Sandrine says, slice usage when you're faced with a prospect of looking at a Behance project about a kilometer long with tons of tiny images you can't zoom in. <laughs> that's true. That's, that's a keeper, Sandrine. Um, so one of the things that I did is I've got my text here. And I can went up, I went up to convert to area text. Now it says point text, but I converted it to area text, which is a text box for those that aren't, don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so what we've got is we have full control over the size of our text box. Now, at this point, I'm like, okay, this is great. I got the size that I want. I've got the size, the, the width that we want. And then coming over into our properties, going down into our paragraph panel, this is where you can control what type of spacing that you have. So if I decrease it, you can see what's happening. If I increase it and it's keeping everything the same and we can get back here. Ah, Manzi. 
Whoa. I have no idea what happened there. Shayula, hello. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. Um, so we have total control and it makes everything, uh, it makes everything the correct uh, 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 distance apart that we want. So, okay, that was helpful. Next off, I wanted to check out our paragraph styles. So let's go up and, come on, typing, typing, uh, paragraph styles, type paragraph styles. All right, now we've got it selected. And as you can see within the poster, I've got a different uh, text weight for the noun, verb, and slang for the I guess that would be a subheader, header, header, yeah. So I started messing around with it and this is really interesting. I found it very difficult because I wasn't able to add the paragraph style in the sense of I want a header. It's this, so you have to do this separately. You cannot create a paragraph style and have it the exact exactly the way it is so if you come up and i click on it boom it just switched everything back it switched everything to um adding points and that's not what i want so i played around with it and to be perfectly honest i couldn't figure it out i could not figure any figure it out so i almost think if I remember correctly with InDesign, you have to come up with your headers, subheaders, titles, um, paragraph styles all separately. So that really didn't help me much. So I'm, I, I'm doing it manually is, is what I'm saying. So that is where we are at with that. Um, Where was slice going to be up here? Now, Sandrine says for slice, when you're faced with the prospect of looking at a Behance project about a kilometer long with tons of tiny images, you can't zoom in. Let's, I'm going to copy that. All right. Let's see here. Uh, tool used all right I'm thinking this whoops ooh now that is new <laughs> that's a happy little accident right there um if you go command semicolon, if you go command semicolon, it will bring up your guides. I did not know this. If you go, let's turn that off. If you go command comma, it brings up your guides, not comma. Um, uh, um, don't, uh, I'm having a bad day today. Uh, that one, <laughs> not that one, but that one, you've got the, oh gosh. Okay. Hold on. That one <laughs> next, next to the semicolon. Um, 
Oh my goodness, come on. All right. Y okay, Sandrine. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Um... I don't know what the how they're called either. Oh my god. Um All right. Uh tool used when faced with the prospect of looking Creating a Behance project about a kilometer long with tons of tiny images and you can't zoom in. Apostrophe, apostrophe. Yeah. Uh, I am burning to help you, Sean. AI is awesome for shortcuts. Been using them using them for a year, but as I work in Norway, I have a Norwegian keyboard that is set to operate as a UK one. Um, I went, that's... So I bought a new Mac. I guess, okay, it's been maybe a year now. Um, but my new Mac is German, so I've got the German keyboard, and because I'm doing all of my work on this Mac, it's a more powerful one, I've switched the keyboard. So I have an American keyboard on this Mac, and then the German keyboard over there. So, I feel you. Okay. And you know what? It's it's kind of one of those things like when you come across these um, shortcuts by accident, they're gonna make it's gonna make you remember it more than if you are actually trying to learn it. So yeah. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. Let's make sure I'm on Illustrator. Yep, there we go. All right. Slice tool tool used. When you're faced with the prospect of creating a Behance project about a kilometer long with tons of tiny images. And you can't zoom in. If you know what key you pressed in the first place. If you know what key. Yes, that's true. That is true. Control Z or Command Z. Is the main one I use. I agree with you, Stephen. Okay. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay, where are we now? Now, I, I do not mind, just so you know, I do not mind jumping around back and forth uh, between any of these projects. So if anybody has any suggestions at any point in time, put them in chat. Let me know. Um, okay, you're muted. Let's see. A streamer who forgets to test their mic before starting a stream. Chat's reaction to not being able to hear but see the streamer's mouth move. Um, I don't think, I don't think I've got any slang. So let's go ahead. Let's delete that. Uh, do we have any other definitions? Reply to a 10 minute monologue. 
Um. I now have an earworm that is called Norwegian Keyboard and the lyrics are just insane. I've never heard that song, Sandrine. <laughs> uh, uh, that's funny. So, uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, I'm, you're muted. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm thinking that may be it. I can't think of anything else. A streamer who forgets to test their mic before the stream, the noun, um, you need a guitar. Uh, Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of nudging here. All right, Nor says, slice a piece of pizza. If it has pineapple on it, it's a pie. <laughs> if it has pineapple, it's a sin. Oh, I once had a Mac, or should I say it once had me? That's funny. All right. I think we're good for muted. Let's go uh, merch. I don't know. Let me know in chat. A slang for merch. I, I, I'm having a tough time with the self promotion. I'm having a tough time with that. So I'm sorry, General. I am sorry. General saying, Master Sean, you disappoint me not recognizing the song. I have failed you again. All right. Small items such as stickers or cards showing artwork or design elements or as a noun and creating an item for self-promotion to give or sell to others. <laughs> I will, General. I will fail you again. Ooh, goodies. Nor coming in strong. I like that. I like that one. Uh, it asked me to save and it told me to save anywhere. So I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a hard drive. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm th I'm guessing this is a song. I don't I don't know for sure. If if I knew, I would probably be singing along. Everybody's loving it though. <laughs> um <clears throat> Okay, so merch I don't think I've got anything else for that. Um, I'm really thinking my brain is is not going well today. Uh, do do. Let's see here. Oh no. Oh no, Sandrine. I got a link. Hold on, everybody. Oh, no. This always makes me nervous.
Norwegian wood. This bird has flown. I, I guess I'm just not cool and with it. 1965. All right. I'll leave that up. I'll, I'll take a look at that later. <clears throat> okay. Um, and dang it, I had an idea for merch. I lost it. <laughs> um, oh, oh, what was it? What was it? Um, I was thinking something of Angus. Mm, 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 dang it. Okay. Let's see. Merch. I think that's it we've got that we've got goodies wait a minute oh wait um um oh it's coming back it's coming back um uh, swag merch merch that's what i'm thinking of nor branding items i'm thinking of uh do 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 let's let's Mm -mm -mm. Not Y T. Ah, come on, come on. Um, merch stand got to be featured somewhere. Uh, Brand. Okay, there, there it is. There it is. Nor, thanks for the help. Um. Brand branded items. Oh, I know. I ah. Uh, Banjoko, hello. How can I be an expert in using Illustrator? Use it. Actually, no. I. I yeah. Hold on. Um. Branded items, uh, Banjoko, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. I will be back. I'm, I'm going to help you in a second. Um, branded items to, oh, do, do, do. Branded items to promote, um, Steven, hello over on Twitch. Brand, branded items. No, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Okay, we're going to get back to that. <sighs> branded items to promote your brand. <laughs> That is so ridiculous. It's good. Daryl, hello. I watched your stream, Daryl. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, branded items to promote your brand. <clears throat> Normally... the merch stand I don't know um okay so sand first off uh let's see let me see Banjoko uh first questions was how to become an expert at illustrator with an illustrator is it Hitting the search icon, the discover icon, 
you will find a series of different tutorials actually within Illustrator. Um, so that's the first thing. Next off, let me get back over here. Let's jump into Behance. There is the creative challenges. There are creative challenges specifically designed for Illustrator. Um, you have a half hour long or 25 minute long video with starter files and everything is here. You can end up hitting the get started button right there and it will take you into I know Oliver uh, it will take you into a starter file in which you can download you can watch the video work along with it then if you join the illustrator discord right there and you scroll down to the daily creative challenge feedback you can post your work and you will get feedback from Adobe, from the designers. Um, I absolutely love the daily challenges that they have for Illustrator, for Photoshop. They have them for XD. Sometimes they have them for motion like Premiere and also uh, After Effects. Um, so these are extremely powerful things and you can take it as far as you want. So you can follow exactly along with the tutorials um, or you can actually push yourself, making sure it's muted. So here's Jack Watson above my head doing the challenge, doing a logo challenge. So I highly recommend if you are new here, that's what you want to check the you want to check out. <sighs> okay. Hopefully that helps you. All right, I missed a bunch of chat. Um Merch is generally derivative items from someone who's it's not their main occupation. Ye old, ye old shop. Yep. Royal family mugs and tea towels or merch. That is true. That is, that's true. Um, so you wouldn't include art prints sold by an artist at an exhibition. Is that a question to me, Stephen? Uh, good call for the creative challenges. Yes. You do. I'm seeing. What, wow. Lots of chat I missed. Uh, okay. And Joko, you're welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, <laughs> okay, we're taking another tangent. Tangent number two. I see your question. Alian, hello. How to get featured on Behance? Um, I'm assuming you are talking about your projects. And... Okay. Let's see here. Um, if you... That's... Let me scroll back to my page. Do good work. Actually, it takes more than that. Um, I do not have the link. Like if you were talking about uh, being featured here, like I have featured in Photoshop and featured in Capture, I've got three features. Um, people have a lot more. Um, you've got like, why are you worried about getting featured? <laughs> you've got a ton of views. You you don't need to be fe featured. Um, I would not even worried about it, to be honest. But the big thing that you want to do, 
just in case anybody else is wondering, let me, I'm switching screens really quick. Okay. Mm, all right. Uh, this is the featured Photoshop from the Creative Challenges. So if you are creating anything at all, any type of projects on Behance, you want to make sure that you are using these names up here. So we've got Creative Challenges, Aero, Fresco, Sound, Game Design. Um, so you need to be using these type of searchable links within your projects. The people that control and feature projects on Behance, what they do is whenever they're getting ready to check out projects, they will type in capture or substance or dimension. They will put in these searchable um, uh, titles and see what comes up. Now, number one, only post your project when it's a hundred percent complete. They will not go back and look at old projects. They don't have time. There's thousands of projects that are being put up every day. Um, so I'm not gonna go through and look at your UI UX, um, but down here in your searchable links, you wanna make sure that you're using the proper links for whatever it is that you want to be featured in. Um, where did we go? Here we go. So that's that's the best that I can tell you. Okay. General says because the, the reward would be more wealth than you can imagine. That's funny. Um, Create work, tag it, make a sacrifice. Hope the moon, hope the moon is in the correct phase. Yeah, yeah. People equal algorithms. Yep. All right. Yeah. So I think that's the best advice um, that I have learned from being able to do anything to get featured. Now, some of these are uh, these featured pages. Some of them are more active than others. So it's who, whoever is running it. So hopefully that answers your question. If not, let me know. But like I said, I would not worry about it if I was you looking at your Behance. Okay. Get back over into Illustrator. Uh, go command S. We're going to save that. Come on now. Get saving. Okay. Wrong layer. Let's see here. Uh, announcement made loudly when the correct layer is not being used. An enthusiast, nope, that's the wrong one. Um, any suggestions for wrong layer? That's no verb. Well, that, this is just copied and paste, Mr. Kenobi. <laughs> um, okay, let's see here. Wrong layer. Um, Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Um, bingo space. Umicorn, where you spend five minutes doing your... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's funny. <clears throat> Bingo space. Um. <clears throat> bottom left hand side. Oh, if you do all your work on one layer, it's never the wrong layer. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead. Do that. Um, I don't think wrong layer. that be where you spend five minutes doing your best work hmm honestly I don't think we can go with a verb um, can't really think of a slang for wrong layer I mean, it's just one of those things that happens. But I like the bingo space one. Wrong layer, not the last time. I don't get that, Lee. Oops for the slang. No, no, Umicorn, the thing is, everybody, you say wrong layer. Everybody does it. Everybody has said it. There's no other word for it. There's no, nothing else. It, they could add an oops or the other one that Gareth is saying um, in Behance, which isn't allowed, or even Oliver. Um, but... The thing is, everybody, you, you're just like, oh, wrong layer, or oh, 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 wrong layer. All of those are just reactions to the fact that it is the wrong layer. And you always say, wrong layer. <laughs> I, I've never heard anybody else put it any other way. So, <sighs> okay. Ice tea, best use. Oh, uh, I'm actually. Isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna go check something. I'm gonna be. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I just wanted to actually go and check my iced tea to make sure that it's actually black tea. Tea leaves, black tea leaves. So, um, solution for wrong layer situations. Close the layer window. <laughs> ah. Oh.
The wrong layer is only an issue in Photoshop anyway, and Illustrator, everything you make, makes its own layer, doesn't it? The curse of any layer-based software. You know, I, okay, Nor saying XD, there are layers, but I never look at them. Here's the thing. Now, this is interesting. Uh, as you can see, I've gone through and I've got each poster on its own layer. Um, and then within the layer, you've got the groups and everything else. Uh, I, Sean actually went to call me. <laughs> Bruce, yeah. Hey, Bruce, why aren't you in my stream? Uh, I Because I started with Photoshop and then I went over into XD, into Illustrator, um, I use the layers panel a ton, a ton. You're making iced tea. We're having hot coffee weather over here. Umicorn, it's just at freezing here, so... Um, okay, so yeah, it's it, technically, yeah, I use the layers absolutely a ton and I do have all the time I have problems with Illustrator of working on the wrong layer and then having to move stuff around. And I think I've gotten used to that because of doing um, Illustrate or uh, After Effects. Oliver says 14 degrees here. Wow. You know what? Wow. 14 Celsius. Holy cow. That's warm. Uh, Linda says, agree with Sean. If you start in Photoshop, I think layers become second nature. Yep. Not everything can be stacked in the appearance panel. Uh, oh, okay, I see what you're saying, Sandrine. All right, so first off, I wanted to go check something, so we need that to be capitalized. Uh, I think we can actually go ahead, get rid of that. Uma says it's nine? Oh my gosh. Nor says, hot summer here, it's like you're all in a fridge. <clears throat> it's 11 where Sandrine is, wow, wow. Okay, uh, do we have any other slang for iced tea? Oh, we, we, we have to do it, Steven said it. There we go. Just wrong, Long Island. All right, I'm liking that. Andre says, we have a negative 11 here. I don't doubt that. You are way up north, Andre. Slang for iced tea, leaf soup with cubes of water. <laughs> uh, that's, that's funny. Not true, but that's funny. <clears throat> oh my goodness leaf soup that would be leaf soup would be hot tea that would be hot tea not iced tea so i i'd have to oh hold on over on twitch hi i want to offer promotion to your channel viewers followers views chatbots the price is lower than any competitor. The quality quality is guaranteed to be the best. Auto on, incredibly flexible and convenient order management panel. Everything is in your hands. Turn it on, off, customize. 
<laughs> I'm getting spam. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I can add that to a block list. Nice. Okay. Bye bye, spam. Welcome to Twitch. <clears throat> at least he didn't say, look at my portfolio. <laughs> uh, <coughs> that's funny. That's funny. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um. Oh, I'm going to cough. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Is spam already in the dictionary? <clears throat> no. I think, no. I've only been streaming there for a week, so. All right, we've got boom. Um, achievement and or streamer excitement. Uh, I like that, I like that. Let's go ahead, hitting T get rid of all of this <clears throat> oh. whoa I have no idea what just happened there Okay, uh, uh, boom shakalaga. <laughs> uh, that's good. Uh, that's funny. Let's see here. Act, uh, do do as a verb. Um, reaction to Reaction to chat. <sighs> do do do. All right. All right. Okay. Reaction to reaction to chats. Chats help or extremely. Funny comment. <clears throat> Ooh, I can't, I can't, I can't say boop. I can't do it, nor... An announcement celebration that has to be shared with the chat. Eh, do do do. I like that. I actually, yeah, I'm I'm with you there, Sandrine. Whoops. Oh. Announcement celebration that has to be shared with chat.
It is a good feeling to get a boom. It is. I absolutely agree with you. Uh... Oh, Sandrine. Now I got Walk the Dinosaur stuck in my head. Oh, that's funny. <clears throat> okay, slang, slang. Um, Andre saying, and normally we have average of negative three to negative seven during the winter. Sometimes during darkest months, we get lower. It is going to be... Um, there's an Arctic blast that is just starting to hit America and where I'm going to be at, it's going to be, is, all right, hold on. I, I, I actually don't even know. Uh, what is five degrees? Celsius. Negative 15. It is going to be negative 15 degrees Celsius um, where I'm going. And some of the days that's the high. So I was looking at my phone just going, oh my God. Gareth says we got down to negative, negative 12. Wait, that went away. Okay. <clears throat> Negative 12 Celsius. Okay, Gareth, I got you. I'm, I'm with you. Um, that's, that's cold. That's just cold. Okay, so for the boom, let's see here. Do we have any type of slang? I don't think we do. Oh, okay, one. There's one. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, get back here. All right, for those of you that have watched my streams, usually before you get a boom, there are times that you'll get a, oh yeah. <laughs> so that's that's what we're gonna put in there for slang. Um, let's go command seven. We had negative seven a couple times last week. Yeah, so did we. Okay. Now I'm telling you, we're we're I've we're, we're moving along. We are moving along here. I'm happy with this. I don't know if I'm going when I'm going to be able to finish this up, um, but we're actually getting stuff done today, so I'm pretty happy. So slice the tool used when you're faced with the prospect of creating a Behance project about a kilometer long with tons of tiny images and you can't zoom in. Um, Do okay. While Norris, <laughs> ah. oh, that's funny. Um, somebody in chat had something pretty funny. Um, I don't remember what it was for slice. Let's go ahead. We're gonna get rid of that. Go ahead. Everybody is yelling at, well, not everybody, Sandrine. Um, 
because Nord lives on a tropical island. And everybody is jealous of the temperature. <sighs> so it's understandable. Okay. Um, as a verb, slice. Um, <clears throat> uh, oh, something to do with pizza, pies, and pineapple. <laughs> pineapple? Pineapple? Um... That would, that, okay, that would be a noun. Do I want to put that in? Now I'm thinking like golf swings and, but we don't talk about golf. By the way, I have to, I have to say, and I know a lot of you are not soccer fans or, um, or as it's known around the world or the rest of the world, soccer, um, but la in general, last night's World Cup match was spectacular. I'm not a huge soccer fan, um, but wow. Wow. Uh, amazing. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. The verb. Um, slice. We... Uh, Slice, slice, baby is the rest. Argentina rocked it. I thought Argentina was going to blow them out. Okay. That slice, slice, baby. Yes, that has to go down here for sure. Um, Uh, breaking up a project into viewable sections. Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> Sandrine says, I didn't watch, but I knew when Argentina scored because the neighbor screamed every time. That's funny. Uh, ch -ch okay, I think... Katarina, hello. Okay. For an Englishman to root for Argentina, it was some serious grievance going on. I, you know, I don't know because I talked to some people this weekend and they were more of rooting for Argentina because of their distaste of French, France, the French, the French team. Okay. We're lurking. We've got a person not active in chat while watching a live stream. The person who responds in chat, what? Did I hear my name? Um, Verb, trying to be productive at work while watching a live stream. Moving your mouse, but really watching a live stream. I'm actually okay with all of that. Unless anybody else has anything they would like to add. Last time I paid attention to football was in a pub 
with some friends and France were playing Brazil. There were a bunch of French students cheering France, so we cheered Brazil. That's funny. I do remember, I was in the south of France, I think it was 2015. Uh, the When was it? Jeez. I don't know. I was I was in the south of France watching the Germany French World Cup game and um, we were at a at a outdoor viewing restaurant and yeah, it was it, it was they were not happy because we were cheering for Germany. Um okay. Bruce says, I thought it was so funny seeing French fans waving French bread. Um, due to the fact it's a UNESCO heritage, um, it's been designated as a UNESCO heritage item, something like that. Um, but they've always done it. They've always done it. Okay. Do we have any slang for lens flare? Um, I can't think of anything. I mean, we've got the make it pop. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just delete those. I like, like both of that. All right, share your screen as a noun post-it note title on streamer's desktop. The first, uh, doo -doo, nope. <clears throat> Slang for lens flare, the thing that you don't the thing that you don't add it, it won't pop. <laughs> uh, if I had one of the, um, whatchamacallits, the art director, the hovering art director, I, I do the twenty eight percent bigger. What is typed into chat when the streamer is focused on everything but the fact that they are streaming? I like that one. <clears throat> All right. We've got name your layers of workflow. Ah, uh, okay. Nor, we've had this conversation, and you may not have been in chat. Nor says, suggestion to add to the dictionary, squirrel. If you add it into your compositions, it might break the internet. I am absolutely aware of that, Nor, and um, Sandrine has brought the squirrel up several times. And I think... That is probably one of the only things that has not happened to my stream yet is somebody brings up a squirrel, someone talks about a squirrel, someone has a photo of a squirrel and their, their stream breaks. Mine has not yet. So it does not get to, it doesn't get to be put into my streamer dictionary. Wrong screen. What? Mm. Well, okay, okay, I have a question. 
the if you say wrong screen and and this is for those of you in chat and i i actually want to know you know <clears throat> when i am streaming i have scenes so if i'm thinking i'm sharing my screen right now and i'm in this scene when I meant to be here, would you know as chat, not a streamer, but would you know that it's the wrong scene or would you say wrong screen? Katarina says wrong screen. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I got you. Yeah, not everybody is aware of how OBS works, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's why I'm asking. The worst is when the screen is the wrong and you're muted and possible to know. Oh. Uh. Steven, hello. From a production streaming perspective, it's a signal feed or channel, one of many. <laughs> it could be. That's funny. Uh, okay. I'm not Banhammer is not in my not in my dictionary nor. This is so um Okay. <clears throat> nor may have missed this and then anybody new jumping in. Um, what I did is, whew, I guess it's been almost two weeks. Um, I came up with the idea and I was using Sandrine's bingo, um, shadow ban. That one's relatively new, but I like that. I'm, I'm going to write that down, Stephen. That's only reserved for one person though. Okay, I got it written down. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, so I came up with this idea and I went through uh, the Sean, the Kozel bingo card and came up with other things that are just kind of um, the history between you, chat, and my stream. Um, we have a lot. We have a lot of history, and there's a lot of funny things that we have come up with. Um, so, how do you... Okay. So that's where this is. This is this is not about uh, Behance streams. This is about you, the community, and my stream. 
How do you call the person non-active in chat but is but in the stream? Like they don't even say. Yeah. <clears throat> Lurking. Or a bot. I Lurking, that would be it. But we've we've come up with um wait a minute, where is it? Where oh, there we go. We're lurking. This is a term that has been brought up. Um a person not active in chat while watching a live stream. A person who responds in chat, what did I hear my name? Or trying to be productive at work while watching a live stream. And this one is specific to one person and they know who they are. Moving your mouse, but really watching a live stream. And the slang is lurk mode. So. <clears throat> Carol, hello. Lurker at large. No problem, Katarina. That is perfectly fine. Where are, where are we? We're on share your screen. Okay. Uh, we've got wrong screen. Um, the same people in Facebook groups who always read all the messages, but never put, oh, oh, okay. Story time. Th this is, this is, um, this is crazy to me. Um, when, you know what, I should not share this, but I'm going to. Um, when I was 15 years old, a very good friend of mine, um, killed himself and, um, it, I was at home. I was sick. I had strep throat. I was at home for weeks <clears throat> and it happened while I was, I was away. Um, good friend of mine, we, sh we shared lockers, everything. So this weekend for no particular reason at all. Um, I woke up and I was thinking about him. Uh, just haven't thought about him for years, years, years. And um, I'm not active on Facebook, not at all. Um, I have an account, but I'm not active. And I'm very, maybe once a month I get on Facebook. And so I get on Facebook, I'm on my phone. The very first thing that comes up and I got onto it to look up something totally different. The very first post that came up was his face, his, his photo from school. And it was, it, it was shocking. It was surprising. Um, and a classmate of mine posted it. Um, and, um, was talking about him like the day before. And I, I just, I couldn't believe it. It was, it was like, oh my goodness. But, um, that's one of the good things I would say Facebook is good for, you know, but it was, it was wild. Um, all right. I wasn't ready for the story. Thanks Sean for sharing goosebumps. Bronk, hello. Uh, are we Tuesday today? Frank, no, I will be streaming uh, tomorrow also. There's just, there was no, nothing else happening. Goosebumps for sure. It was, you know what? It was creepy, but at the same time, it, it was, it was, um, kind of warming, kind of, it was just, um, yeah, uncanny, that's a good word for it. But it, it was just, it, it was nice. It was nice. Naul, hello, welcome in. All right, let's get back to work here. Name your layers. <clears throat> I'm almost out of water. Why are you booing, Sandrine? Oh. <laughs> uh. Ooh, I'm not going to read that aloud, but that's crazy. People you may know. 
All right, I like this uh, work, a workflow element to be followed when someone is watching or will be hitting T for text or will be looking at your file. Oh, you're booing Oliver. Okay. I missed something. I missed something, Oliver. Oh my goodness. Workflow element to be followed when someone, someone, come on, Sean, spell. Someone is watching or will be looking at your file. Do we have any slang for name your layers? Now we have, I believe that's French in the going on in chat. I feel so left out. Okay. I am not seeing any slang coming up or name your layers. So I think we're good with that. Moving on. I don't want to do page turn. Here's okay. I have an issue with page turn. I have an issue. Uh, no, I do not speak French. Bronk. Um, all right. A uh, page turn is something that I never say. Chat says it. Sandrine says it. Stuart says it. I never say it. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do this one. But let's. I'm going to leave that as the last one for right now. Uh Okay, now we are into the ones where I have absolutely nothing put into these. So let's go ahead and we are going to start with rough as a, let's see, as a, as a noun, it would be. Neckwear used as self promotion No, 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 no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Neckwear used to show How do I spell? How do you spell that? Uh, dignity to show the dignity a streamer has <clears throat> something to catch bits of bread falling from your mouth. That's the goat. That's the goat. The goat. The goat and rough. Um.
Okay. I thought Sean had a dog on the stream. Rough as in bark. It was... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to we we need to recap here. Um, I think it's here. Let's see. Yep. <clears throat> All right. We've got the rough and goat tails up here at the top. Um, initially, this started out when um, I did the. I made my put myself into a old style painting, and just put my face in as an old painting. I don't even know if I've got that any place. Um, actually, I do. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Uh, let me see if I can find this. And I'm missing chat right now, so I apologize, every everybody. Okay. Is stickers? Stickers? Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so, uh, I did a stream initially, just putting my face and turning a regular photo into a looking like a painting and so of course i've got the neck rough and it kind of um took went on its own and whoops then we had gotta see if i can find angus's work here um Proposal merch. Angus took it a step further, as with Kozel merch, and adding the goat and rough set. Having your own goatee and a rough. <clears throat> so because of that, <laughs> I created the goat and rough series and did a composite of the dog and the goat. So um, we've got the goat and rough. So initially, <laughs> it started out as neckwear and it's just grown from there. Little Sean has not. Um, T422, hello, welcome in. Uh, that's too bright. Let me bring that one up. I'm assuming you mean this guy. So, yes. He has made an appearance. All right. Let's go ahead get back out to Illustrator. Um, I did see something. What did what did Sandrine say? Um, a decorative item of clothing a streamer sometimes wears. <laughs> That's funny. Um, The only item that made Charles II of Spain acceptable to look at. I, hey, those are fighting words, Sandrine. I cannot, I'm, I'm not going to rip on Charles II from Spain. Uh, Goat and Rough sounds like a real ale pub where you do not ask for a lager if you want to survive. <laughs> it does. Goat and Rough, that totally sounds like a UK pub. Okay. Um, UK pub. There we go. <sighs> Oliver says, I mean, it's not like he's going to pop into chat and call you out. <laughs> you, you don't know that, Oliver. You don't know. 
I'm assuming that Sandrine. I mean, come on. Do I really want somebody to say that when I was wearing that ruff, it was the only time that it made it bearable to, to look at me? That's just mean. Uh, okay. So I'm roughing now. If you are wearing a ruff, yes. Yes, Frank. Ah. Uh. Oh, right. Um, how in the world is this going to be a verb? <laughs> the goat and rough called. They needed a logo for a full social media suite. And they rather have it done in Adobe Express. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm, I'm hurt by that, Sandrine. I'm, I'm hurt by that. Hi, Jack. Jack Watson in chat, everybody. Jack, I want to thank you. Katarina suggested that I watch one of your creative challenges last week. Um, that helped me a great deal with, um, with working with paragraph styles. So thank you so much, Jack. Uh, so you can also say Sean was in the rough. Only if you're getting, only if you're getting back to golf. That's funny though. That's okay. Now you got me thinking because a lot of people don't know. Well, okay. A lot of people may know this, but um, usually, usually it's more of a joke that running joke that I have with uh, people within chat about not wearing pants because you only see from here up and by pants i mean the uk version of pants um which of course was a whole nother oh no we have to add pants oh we have to add pants uh sandrine is saying charles ii is in the house oh pants No, <laughs> nor. <laughs> okay, now I just saw it. Uh, are you wearing a kilt? Um, it, well, when I went to the UK for my birthday and met some of you, um, the big joke was, oh my God, he has legs. Like technically nobody has ever seen my legs. Um, or, you know, so in the, in the rough, instead of in the buff would actually be quite funny um i think it was angus was it angus or jane like the as soon as they saw me they were like oh my god you have legs <laughs> um <sighs> mm, how can we do that uh verb Verb, um, streamer wear being in the rough. I don't know that that might have taken it too far but that's funny that's funny i got it i that's a good one <clears throat> okay i can't think of another verb that we're going to be going with that one like you could be standing right now and we wouldn't even know it no actually all right no that's not true charles the second of spain um, due to the fact that I'm, I have a tendency of leaning over towards my keyboard. If I was working at a standing table, I wouldn't be able to lean that much, even though I would love to get one. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, 
That seems too far. That's still six. No. I'm something's something is not right here. I think I did a hard return. Did I? I must have. Nor is good at it. Nor Nor is really fast at, at changing up his name. He has taught me well. Every now and then I do it just, you know, as a joke. So, Nor's taught me well. Okay. Slang. Um, what did Sandrine said? Uh, bread, crumb, catcher. Well, I, I gotta do it. Okay. I tried it once and it didn't update in chat, never tried again. You have to actually reload. If you change your name on Behance, you uh, change your name on Behance, then when you come back into the uh, chat, into the stream, you have to reload. You have to refresh as Charles II of Spain is not that fresh. Well then, Oliver, it was operator error. Because Charles can do it. I mean, if Charles can do it, anybody can do it. I mean, come on, geez. <laughs> it didn't work, changed it back, lost interest. That sounds like you, Oliver. <laughs> okay. Um, let's... <clears throat> as a noun... Uh, ooh, Charles has left the building. Welcome back, Nor. Uh, as a noun... Um, let's see here. We're going to go to or more items close to intersecting intersecting not intersection intersecting um two or more items close to intersecting uh in a photo And whoa, whoa, what just happened there? Get back here. Um, an off topic statement story or lesson. The thing is that I always forget to change the avatar too, so it never works. Ugh. That's true, Nor. <clears throat> okay, we're we're on tangent. Um, I think I think that's good. Two or more items close to intersecting in a photo, an off topic statement story or lesson all right uh tangent <clears throat> as a verb it's technically i don't think you can make it a verb but we're gonna try um 
trying to waste time instead of working on something you're sus you're supposed to <clears throat> I don't know trying to waste time instead of working on something you're supposed to and don't want to kick the can down the road <laughs> I like that one I like that <clears throat> I got a typo. I wow. Typo. Okay, trying to waste time instead of working on something you're supposed to and don't want to. Is there two? What whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Okay, wow, wait, wait, where'd it, is, all right, two Ps, suppose, suppose, really? Okay, hey, I, I, more than happy, you guys can, you can be my body text, uh, uh, editor, I'm okay. Isn't that just work? <laughs> well, no, Stephen, because here's the thing. Um, there are times when I'm I'm streaming, and this is this is supposed to be like streamer stuff. So there are times I'm streaming and I am just struggling beyond belief at something. And it's like copy editors. Thank you, Jack. Um the, I, I'm, I'm just struggling and something will pop into my head and I'm like, let's, let's talk about something more fun. I'm not having fun right now. So let me come up with a tangent or let me think of something. Um, if I'm not having fun, I kind of doubt if you are. Uh, edit spell checking. Here's nice. What is that? Oh, so it's saying, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you there. Okay. The funny thing is I never have trusted like spell check within Photoshop. Which is funny. <laughs> too many typos. Wow, now you have too many typos. Well, yeah, I understand. It's sitting there and it's trying to tell me that every single title is supposed to be um, uh, have a capital letter, blah, blah, blah. So I'm okay. I'm okay. <clears throat> now, how do I turn it off? <laughs> uh... There we go. Um, it's grammar moaning. To be fair, most of the words aren't even real. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. We got to get back here. This is ugly. <clears throat> oh. And I will go through and do all the fine tuning later on. Sandrine, have a great day. Thank you for being here. Can you not just turn off the grammar and leave the spelling on? I don't know. Um,
The one underneath was spell checking. <laughs> David. <clears throat> A.E. Yeah. David, how are you? Good to see you. Hopefully you're at it. you had a great weekend. Um Okay. We have After Effects counter. So AE counter. And by the way, David, since you just came in and you've missed a handful of our streams, um what I am doing is I'm creating a this is for my stream, um, a streamer dictionary. So these are all terms that have kind of taken off within my stream over the last 200 streams. So um, the definitions are what it is within my stream. So we've got save, baubles, look at my work, you're muted, merch, wrong layer, iced tea, boom, We've got name your layer, share your screen, lens flares were lurking, uh, slice, rough, tangent, after effects counter, humming blob, and page turn. Buffering is should it. <clears throat> Look at my work, please. <laughs> Buffering is not with me. <clears throat> I'll put it that way, Nor. If anybody is buffering, it's on your end. I actually get uh, analytics after my streams, and um, I get a, I get a nice thumbs up. So uh, whenever I get done streaming, I get a Are, Bruce. You're joking. You're joking, right? about the humming blob? Do you not know what a humming blob is? <laughs> uh, okay, um, AI counter. <clears throat> I, I think, I think you're, you're just trying to get me, Bruce. I'll get to it, that's the next poster. That's the next one. All right, let's see here. Uh, AI counter. That would be the noun is. Um, let's see here. Device use used device used to. Keep track of how many times, how many times chat asks did they make it? in After Effects? <clears throat> Device used a track to keep track of how many, how many times chat asks, did they make it in After Effects? Okay, what did I miss? I spent a big chunk of last week laying up Nouvella. It was written in US English, so I had the international English. It was also sci-fi, so I had to check each time if it was a spelling issue. <laughs> uh. Okay.
as a verb. <clears throat> I don't think there's a verb. I, I don't know. Chat, let me know. Let me know if you think there's a verb. Um, the slang for that. I believe I, I would say there's only one slang for it, which would be the Gareth After Effects Counter 24. That's an inside joke. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, for a verb. Ooh, 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 ooh. The verb. Um, Sarah, hello. Now, I, okay, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not going to probably spell this one right. Um, let's see. That that can't be right. I'm actually, I got to check my spelling. On. Oh my God, I spelled it right. <laughs> uh, annoying... A host on a live stream talking about after effects when <clears throat> Oh, when any... <laughs> uh, Oliver, will you be animating these in After Effects? Good timing. Um, annoying a host on a live stream talking about After Effects when the subject is any other app other than after effects. Uh, um, even more important question, were these made in after effects? Uh, are you currently working in after effects? Oh, David, you're lucky I like you. You are lucky I like you. Okay, that's... I like that. <clears throat> I like that. Okay. Bruce. 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 <sighs> Humming blob. I, I, I don't even know if I want... To come up with this one because I definitely need your help uh, from chat. <clears throat> okay, so <sighs> let's um, <sighs> is a hummy blob a self promoter? What happens when Sean tries to draw a hummingbird? Uh, I actually don't know this. Oh, right. Okay. Tangent time. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to do it. So we're going to tell talk about it. All right. Nope. So I did a collaboration with Chris Holt Draws, oh, probably a year, year and a half ago. Um, year and a half or two years ago. And he took one of my photos. Um... And 
the funny thing is he took one of my photos of a hummingbird and turned it into an illustration. It was a lot of fun. And I had the utmost intent to draw along. I wanted to learn how to illustrate. Um, the streams are still on Chris's Behance. I, um, hold on everybody. Okay. Um, so, I, let, let me, I'll continue on. Um, if you go on to Behance and you type in Sean Kozel and you are over here and you're looking for streams, my streams don't come up. It's all the streams that I'm in um, that I have either somehow been involved with. I've done collaborations. Uh, like here's, he's uh, Evan's making my logo move. Um, I'm in Bliss's. Uh, intro her 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 uh, I guess yeah her description I'm in her description and so then we've got this so if one of these like here is the hummingbird <clears throat> there's the hummingbird and what occurred was we had issues it was our first collaboration first time having multiple people on the same stream and we had echoes and I was trying to fix it. So Chris was drawing and I was going through and trying to take care of the technical side and I failed. I could not get it. We couldn't figure out what was going on. And so I was nervous. I was, I was um, kind of like trying to figure stuff out. So then I tried I decided, okay, we're just going to get going. So I was drawing and chat wanted to see it and it did not turn out well. Um, so in the first stream, Sean drew a line. In the second stream, second one, a blob. That's pretty much true, Oliver. That's not far from the truth. So it became known as the humming blob. Um, and it literally was a blob. <laughs> So I have to own that. That's mine. And so humming blob. Um, <clears throat> so the definition of a humming blob <clears throat> is going to be what? Um, let's see here. A a mass of colors and shapes um a mass of colors and shapes not resembling a Hummingbird. Trying to do this and not, and, and be generic and not calling myself out is kind of tough here. A mass of colors and shapes not resembling a hummingbird. I think that's a pretty good noun. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm good with that. Do we do we need a verb? Let me know in chat. Anybody? I think we need a we need a we need a verb. Let's let's Oh, good for you, Sean. It's, it said in Maddie's stream that it has become a blob before it becomes anything. Good for you, Sean. It says in Maddie's stream that it has to become a blob before it becomes anything. 
okay. Uh, um, I'm gonna use that, Bruce. I don't know how, but I'm gonna use that. Let's let's go. Um, what's it called when you are you've got your sketch and you start coloring it in and you're laying your base colors? Um, uh, let's. Painting in base colors over a hummingbird sketch. Painting in base colors over a hummingbird sketch into a pool of Mush. Uh, blocking in, blocking in your colors. Uh, blocking in, yes, yes, I like, thank you, Gareth. Blocking in base colors over a hummingbird sketch into a pool of mush. Henrik, hello. So the fact that you actually tried is as awesome step forward. Um, it was frustrating. It was, it was extremely frustrating, Bruce, because I had the intent to draw. Um, you got to start somewhere when you want to draw. Everybody makes horrible stuff in the beginning. So the process, this process is pretty normal. Sarah, I absolutely agree with you. Um, the issue, it, it, it was so, it was just so disheartening. It was really disheartening in the fact that I was so excited for this stream, uh, to be with Chris Hall and, um, just having the technical issues getting in my head. So it, it you know, it was frustrating. It was just frustrating. And I decided to take it into a different direction instead of going, trying to paint first off in Photoshop. And then I decided to start trying to do it with vectors, with shapes. Um, so it, it, it was just, it was tough. Uh, Devlin, hello. You should have just played it off. That, that, what do you think I'm doing, Bruce? <laughs> it, it was a shame, but it was, you know, as a stream, it was a shame because of the echo that we had, the technical issues, uh, but doing collaborations with Chris were just fun, you know? I mean, doing collaborations with any of you would be fun, um, to be perfectly honest. I don't think there's any slang. Oh, wait. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We, we're going to have one slang. I got you, Bruce. <laughs> uh, Henrik just showed up and he's, he's telling me what to do. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you. <clears throat> As I said before, I need help with that. Um, okay, a mass of colors and shapes not resembling a hummingbird, blocking in base colors over a hummingbird sketch into a pool of mush. 
Command S. Let's go ahead and save that. <clears throat> All right. Page turn. Page turn. I am having issues with this one. <clears throat> I love that about you, Sean. You get stuck in, laugh it off, move on, keep going. This humming blob makes a great story years later. It's not a story, Daryl. It's freaking right there. It's right there. Uh, <clears throat> it's for the world to see. 1,200, look at, I, I remember these old days, 1,245. Those were the days. Um, I'm no painter, I'm a photographer, but I like to scribble here and there, and I love my Wacom. Oh. Gonna have to watch it. <clears throat> we did turning the humming blob into a fish story. It was this, well, wait, hold on. The, the fish I caught, was this big it doesn't work it doesn't work it no no doesn't work okay <clears throat> um so the initial let's see the first one the eagle i was not on the stream with chris um the hummingbirds were but then he had a more powerful Mac, and so when I took one of his photos, and let's see, let's jump over. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, I took one of his illustrations and actually turned it into... Um, turned it into, what was it? The basketball player. And unfortunately, Chris took those down. Um, it had to, it's gotta be here. Yeah, this one. So Chris made an illustration years ago of um, this a basketball illustration like this. And so I decided I wanted to take it and actually turn it into something. So this is a composite that I did on Chris's stream um yeah and unfortunately those those do not exist chris has deleted those so <clears throat> okay now i am actually googling right now a page turn effect or CC page turn. Okay, that's Jake in motion. Um, hmm. Page flip, page turn. Okay. Henrik says, easy solution. Say the blob is a shape, put it in Adobe Express, and use it as a new shape from the background. There's there's nothing wrong with it that it needs a solution. <laughs> I've told I've told the story. Um Okay. An overused effect, an overused effect um, in design. Spell it right, Sean. In design. See? 
lens flare. <clears throat> Hopefully I'm not, uh, uh, there's only one person I know that is always asking for the page turn, page curl, flip. Um, is that a slider effect? <clears throat> I don't know what you're asking, Bruce. Um, an overused effect in design as a verb um, transition best turns for best turns for streamer is when they turn 360 in their chair that was Kathleen illustrator that used to do that um my god I forgot about that Transition, yes, the before and after effect. Oh, is that a slider effect? Ah, no, no. I got you, the before and after, got you. Um, I forgot about that, Nor. Oh my gosh. What was the... Um, geez. Whenever I said hello to her, I would put that emoji in chat and she would spin when she said hello <clears throat> i'd always see the lens flare page turner as the classics of early di digital design um uh to do transition tr um let's see here why am i not type oh I'm typing in chat. Come on. Come on, Sean. Um, a, <clears throat> let's see, a transition as a, uh, from one scene to Another What did Daryl say? Classics of early a transition from one scene to another used in early digital design. Rick, hello. Um. Oh yeah. Let's go. Add another category. What category do you want me to add, David? Page flip, uh, page curl, name, probably some Instagram model somewhere in the world. <laughs> oh, I had, I had to think about that one for a second. <laughs> page Turner. Alt name. Oh my gosh. I had to think about that. That's funny. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm saving. Did I save? I saved. All right. Um, 
but you got it. I wasn't sure it would come across. Yeah, Bob Seger has a song called Turn the Page. That is true. That is true. Okay, so how many of these have I got? Uh, four, eight, 18. Um, let's go ahead. We are going to do a quick recap. Uh, what the plan is, I'm going to go through, do some little design nudging, uh, just trying to make it, hopefully make things look a little bit better. Then I'm going to export these and make a Behance project. And I'm thinking about using Adobe Express and releasing one of these, like one a week or maybe two a week on Instagram but I can get all 18 and just have them ready to go on it with Adobe Express scheduler and just let the scheduler figure it out. <clears throat> so, okay, let's, let's go through these. We have save. What you do when chat asks why your file is titled untitled, untitled one. Now, the first thought after the program experiences a slight delay in performance. Slang, command S or control S. Do you need to make them square for Instagram? Oh, dang it, Rick. Yes, or, or I can go portrait, but I actually designed these initially for print. Oh my God. I may, oh, Rick. Oh, why? <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about that. <clears throat> These are all A4, yeah, A4 size. You could alternate the layout, shouldn't be too hard, no. Premiere Pro has auto reframe. Uh, do over and express, easy peasy. Yeah, I mean, in reality, we're just talking text. This would be so easy to do. Um, but publish stories instead, no need to square them. I've never published a story, nor. I tell all my stories here to you. Uh, you can post portrait on Instagram, yep. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> We've let's let's go for a recap and then I'll figure out what what I'm doing later. Uh, it's a long story to publish a story. Yeah. Bobbles. What you always try what you always try to get the streamer to pronounce correctly if you're from the UK. The first thought after the program experiences a slight delay in performance. Verb, pet bait, <laughs> slang, baumschmuck, and bobles. Um, all right. Look at my work. Noun, a keyword indicating an inexperienced artist with no work on their page. Two. First message in chat from accounts without a name or a picture or indeed any work. As a verb, an enthusiastic discourteous injection as an awkward plea to get attention. Slang, me, 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 and self-promoter. <clears throat> You're muted. A streamer who forgot to test their mic before starting the stream. A uh, verb. Chat's reaction to not being able to hear, but see the streamer's mouth move. I like that one. That one's funny. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, that's one of my favorite too, Bruce. Uh, people do that? What people? <clears throat> David, you know who you are. Boom, achievement and or streamer excitement, a verb, activating the blue flame explosion. Uh, it did, it did Devlin, that was the point. That was Oliver's idea and I thought it was funny. 
Oops, wrong one. <laughs> wrong scene. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> um, verb. A reaction to chat's help or extremely funny comments. An announcement celebration that has to be shared with chat. And the slang is, oh yeah! With fist pumps. A holy boom. Iced tea. The best use of black tea bags. Verb. The final result of a long stream taking place in the UK during winter or in cold weather. Slang, just wrong, or Long Island. Wrong layer. Announcement made loudly when the correct layer is not being used. Or bingo, bingo, that should be bingo square. Square. <clears throat> Bingo square, bottom left-hand side. I really think we should have, we could have come up with something better for wrong layer. That one, that one disappoints me. Uh, merch, small items such as stickers or cards showing artwork and design elements, brand items to promote your brand, <laughs> normally at the merch stand, um, creating an item for self-promotion to give or sell to others. Slaying swag and goodies. Name your layers. A workflow element to be followed when somebody is watching or will be looking at your file. Or changing the title of a layer from layer one copy to what the layer contains. Bruce, no, <laughs> no, Bruce. Share your screen, post-it note title on streamer's desktop. Verb, what is typed into chat when the streamer is focused on everything but the fact that they are streaming? Slang, wrong screen. If you name your layers, you're a streamer. <laughs> Nor. <clears throat> That's not far from the truth. That's funny. Uh, lens flare. A refraction of light through a camera lens. <clears throat> Creating a burst of light in a design to make it pop. Verb. Oh no. See boom. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. We're lurking. A person not active in chat while watching a live stream. No, Bruce. No. Um, two, the person who responds in chat. What? Did I hear my name? Uh, verb, trying to be productive at work while watching a live stream. Or moving your mouse but really watching a live stream. Also known as lurk mode. Slice. Tool used when you're faced with the prospect of creating a Behance project about a kilometer long with tons of tiny images and you can't zoom in. Verb, breaking up a project into viewable sections. Slang, slice, slice, baby. Oh my gosh, okay. <clears throat> Rough. Neckwear used to show the dignity Okay, I'm glad I'm reading these again. Uh, neckwear used to show the dignity of a streamer to show the dignity... Wait. Neckwear used to show the dignity of a streamer Taken from the late 1700s. <clears throat> On the farm, wrong layer is the sitting hen bird which attacks you for getting her eggs. Neckwear used to show the dignity of a streamer. 
taken from the late 1700s. A UK pub, the Rough and Goat. Verb, streamer wear, being in the rough. That's pretty vague, but I like it. Slang, bread crumb catcher and no pants. Tangent, two or more items close to intersecting in a photo. An off-topic statement, story, or lesson. Verb, trying to waste time instead of working on something you're supposed to do, you're supposed to, and don't want to. Slang, kick the can down the road. AI counter. <clears throat> Device used to keep track of how many times chat asks, did they make it in After Effects? Verb, annoying a host on a live stream, talking about After Effects, when the subject is any other app other than After Effects. The Gareth After Effects Counter 24. Slang. Humming Blob. A mass of colors and shapes not resembling a hummingbird. Uh, blocking in base colors over a hummingbird sketch into a pool of mush. Slang. Masterpiece. <sighs> Page turn, an overused effect in design, see lens flare. Verb, a transition from one scene to another, used in early digital design, slang, page flip, and page curl. <clears throat> Which one, Rick? Which one's the best? I should make these available to you. To all of you. I might do that. <sighs> you are part of this community. You're part of the... Rick says the humming blob. Yeah, that, that's a good one. You know, you helped actually come up with all of these. Uh, just over time. So, I should. I'll, I'll figure out a way... You know what I'll do? Um, in projects now, in projects now, we have um, source files. So what I may do is put the source file, maybe the Illustrator file, mm, in it. I'll take a look at that. I'll take a look at that. Um, yeah. I think that would be nice. I don't know if you guys would want it. If you don't, if you do, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll figure something out. Okay. The Adobe Banana Crew. The ABCs. Yep. That was not from my stream, though. That was from Jesus Ramirez. Um... Yeah, okay, wait. <clears throat> Let me jump over to the Discord. So, if you are un unaware, ooh, ooh, wait. Okay. If you are unaware of what Nora is talking about, the founder of the ABCs, the Adobe Banana Crew, <clears throat> that's the from the banana icon. Uh, that is in the banana icon in Photoshop. Dia. Okay. I was just seeing what Dia put in. Uh, one of many, the Henrik says the Photoshop Easter eggs. Uh, I'll take a look at my work t-shirt. I don't know about that. That's funny. Um, Henrik, let's see here. No, you, you got, got me thinking. Okay, so you have the alternate splash scene. That's one Easter egg. You've got the toast and coffee. 
you have the banana and you have the monkey head layer comp um mm -mm. i think that's it i think that's it off the top of my head that's all i can remember um but yeah so this has been a fun project i'm going to uh get you know nudge him around a little bit get him to look a little bit better uh, and you probably don't want to watch me do that. So, I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is probably going to be the last stream till after I get back. Probably the new year. Um, <clears throat> I've got some busy stuff going on. And um, so, yeah, I will stream tomorrow, same time. Tomorrow we're going to be in a Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. We're going to do some editing uh, unless there's something else that people come up with. Stream tomorrow. Yes, Devlin. Yep. Nothing. I mean, is anybody? I don't know if anyone else is streaming, has streaming. Um, no featured streamers are streaming except for me. So, um, and we've got really nothing going on, unfortunately. But. Thank you for being part of this, um, this streamer poster. I kind of like it. Okay, Andre says, I might after you. Okay, if you do stream Andre, I'll be in a little bit late because I have to break down my studio. Um, yeah, I'll, eh, yeah, I'll break it down. I'll just set it up tomorrow morning. Uh, that's not a problem. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for giving me the great ideas. And you know what? <clears throat> Let me jump over to Illustrator. As I said, without you, I wouldn't have all of these hilarious, um, <laughs> I wouldn't have all, all of these hilarious things to do. Um, and David says, did you save? Yep, I have no star up there. Nothing. And and this is for Devlin. Devlin said this is one of her favorites, so we're going to go straight into save. <clears throat> bingo, yes. Uh, there was a Kozel bingo that was made by Sandrine. So that's kind of where this whole idea came from. So, all right, unless there's any more tangents, um, I think it's time to call it a day. I've streamed for almost two hours, two and a half hours. Wow. Okay. I appreciate everybody being here. Thank you so much. Uh, it's great spending time with you. I know there's not a lot going on right now. Um, I'll, I'll do all the holidays wishing you, you know, happy holidays and all that stuff tomorrow. But hopefully I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for being here. And uh, everybody, just stay safe, stay creative, and um, just be nice. Bye, everybody. <laughs>